So, a whole heap of people talk about the enslavement of Europeans. Sorry, the enslavement of Africans by Europeans. A whole heap of people understand, at least not understand, but hear something that relate to how the British come here and the Spaniards come in the Caribbean here and take away. They take away from Africa and bring around here to them sugar cane and them cotton. But there is a part of slavery that is hardly spoken of. And it do have nothing to do with white people. It has something to do with the Arabs. The Arab slave trade. The Arab slave trade lasts longer than the white people slave trade. And we hardly hear about that, and maybe it's because of all the black people see themselves as Muslim. Why them talk less of it. Now we know that the Portuguese was in Africa. And the Portuguese in Africa is a really a serious problem because even Christopher Columbus, a lot of people don't know this, but Christopher Columbus was one of the sailors them from the Portuguese ship who got into Africa. And there is a, 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 a path, a pathway to Europe that no one spoke of or speak of when they talk about enslavement of black people. And that is the trek across the Sahara Desert into Europe, into what we call Southern Europe. Them used to take their ancestors, chain them up and carry them across the desert and carry them into France and all the other places. So it's not every African who was enslaved, did come to this part of the world. No, sir. A whole heap away, did go across the Sahara Desert. But even within that, before the Europeans go there, the Arabs them take all of it because they were spreading them Islamic religion. And most of North Africa get caught in that Islamic religion to the point where you have Africans now give up them Africanness. And most they talk about Islam, as a matter of fact, a whole heap of these Africans call anybody who was like most Muslims infidels. Can you believe that? Infidels. That means if he's not Muslim, whether you're black or whatsoever, you're supposed to be dead. Yes, that is really the cry of Muslims, of Islam across Northern Africa. And we say right now the Arabs take over the whole of Northern Africa. And a whole heap of people believe, say, each, when we talk about Egypt and them to the people, them, them can't picture that. It's not so the original Kemetic people, them, they look. Because the majority of Arabs don't live in Arabia. The majority of Arabs live in Egypt. And they colonize Northern Africa, go right into Mali. Right into Mali. And them leave them devastation there. And you have some black people who rise up called the Moors. And the Moors go into a place named Granada, inside of Spain. I was giving them high culture. Yet I was Europeans them. If you go to a place named Bordeaux, I don't know if I pronounce it right, Bordeaux, in a France. Most of the street them and the building them was built by African people. The mosaic and all these things was built by African people who them call Moors, the black ones. Yet still, the Moors never see themselves as African. They see themselves as Muslims. And when they reach across to the west of Africa, they never feel no way to take the so-called African people who was not Muslims and give to the white people them. Because even today, if you go into Jamaica in a Moor town, a lot of Arab language is in, even, even the, the greeting Salam Alaikum. Salam Alaikum is found amongst the Muslims, the, 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 the Maroons them in a Moor town. And you wonder how the Maroons them get that because the, the, the Arabic culture was deep into West Africa. Deep, when I say deep, I mean deep. I remember I said them did it long before, long before the Europeans got there. So they must part of the enslavement of African people long before the Europeans go there. But we hardly hear anybody talk of that aspect of it. Because as I say, 
Maybe it's because of all the black people find themselves giving credence to Islam. But Islam, Christianity, all of them is no friend of Africa. No friend of Africa. None of them have Africa in them consciousness as people who has contributed a lot to the world civilization. Them see we as commodities to be enslaved and worked and cotton steel and plantation and any other menial jobs. Up to this day, them still do it. We as African people have to rise up, rise up out of that and understand the history. Understand the history. Because meanwhile, them was dealing with the Africans, them in a, in a, in a Spain. Them, the King Ferdinand and Queen Isabel decided to them were going to run out all of the African them out of Spain because them did not deal with too much things that was un-Catholic, un-Catholic. And in 1492, them started thinking the Inquisition. Most of you might have heard of the Inquisition. They see in 1492, Christopher Columbus was making white to this part of the world. But the Inquisition started because the whole heap of people need to be destroyed because they wasn't with the papacy or the Pope of Rome. And that is why the Inquisition started. And most of them was Muslims and, and people were called Christians who never give credence to, to Rome. It's a serious thing. We need to go back in the history and study the Arab influence on Africa and how the Arab them enslave African people. For a thousand years, them do that. A thousand years. Give time. Yeah, this is Muta Baroka. I want to introduce you to a, a different style of programming from the media. We call it Ross Internet That Today. I want you to log on to it because you'll be pleasantly surprised. Ross Internet That Today provides you with all different perspectives, knowledge, psychology, philosophy, history, social things, religion, thing. So, we want you to tune into it. Ross, R-A-S-S-S, -S -S, Internet, that today. Irie. Well, let me hear you say, Mountain, Mountain.